The aim of every artist is to arrest motion, which is life, by artificial means and hold it fixed so that a hundred years later, when a stranger looks at it, it moves again since it is life. That's a quote by William Faulkner. My name is Leighton Yuma, and I'm going to show you custom motion trail effect on Photoshop. I hope you enjoy. All right, so here is the final product of what I want to show you guys. And uh, this is what we're going to be starting out with. So first step is to isolate your subject and uh, do a quick selection. So I already had that saved, ready to go here with the quick selection. Next thing we need to do is copy this layer. So you do that just by clicking Command J. And then do that once more to make another layer. Now from this layer, we're gonna need to just move it over a little bit. So I'm gonna zoom out just a tad. And move the quick uh, button for that is just by clicking V. Grab your selection and drag it ever so slightly to the direction that um, the object was coming from. It's important to remember to arrange your layers so that um, the, the next layer sits behind the, the subject. Now what we're going to do is uh, hold option key and drag the previous one the same direction as the first always keeping it behind the previous and do that a couple more times as to create an effect that uh, looks like the object is moving maybe just a tad bit further every time as well cool so now when you feel like you have everything in the right place we can begin to um, change the lighting on it. So for this one we're going to do a soft light and since that's the last one we want it to have a pretty low opacity probably around 40. Uh, the next one we can do probably about 20% more so we'll go for 60 the next one same thing soft light past the let's go 80 on this one and then the uh, top one we'll just do a soft light with the opacity I set at 100 and there you have it we have the the motion blur there now all that's left is a uh, oops you just need to flatten your layers or flatten your image so all the layers uh, combine and then save it the way that you'd like and voila we're done with a custom motion trail effect I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, it was really enjoyable for me to learn how to do this. Um, and I challenge all of you guys to go out there and try it for yourself. Um, look for something that shows action and just uh, try it out and see uh, how well it looks. Thank you for uh, listening. Bye.